Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me Louise. So today we're going to do a ranking of all the Natasha Denona palettes that I've tried, or the mini ones, um, that I, I did a look with. And this is just based on my preference. The quality in all of these, except, well, the quality is still good in that. But the quality is good in all of these, so I really do like all of these, except for one I could live without. But... I still couldn't live without it because it is Natasha Denona's, so, you know. Some of these are still available, some of these are not, but I have 15 all, so we better get started. So, at number 15, it is the Natasha Denona Mini Tropic. I just could not come up with a really good look with this palette. I just, it's the color story. It's just, for a beginner like myself, it I just couldn't get it. I don't think the look I did was good. I had, I mean, problems with the shade, not with the shades, but like, with trying to place the shades, because I couldn't see a color story that looked right, you know what I mean? So that's number 15 for me. Number 14 is the Mini Metropolis palette. Now, I know that the Metropolis palette is a favorite to a lot of people, and it, it's a good palette, it is, I'm not going to lie, and this is a good formula, it's just not my color story all of these are pretty much is just not my color story in theory you know i may gravitate to it once or twice but it's not something i'm really gonna pull for you know basically the top five are the ones that i pull for regularly at number 13 is the mini gold again color story you know there's nothing really to say about it at number 12 right 15 14 13 12 is the mini sunset i used to love this though i'm not gonna lie this used to be one of my favorites i used to love this color story at number wait wait at 11 is the mini is it xeon exxon xeon palette Honestly, this is a good palette if you need like a black and a white. I did like the look I created actually with this. Again, just not my color story number one. And number two, I believe that it was made to be a companion palette anyway, to be honest with you. So that's, you know, the only reason. If you need these shades though, perfect black, perfect white, like good to go. At number 10, the mini Lila or Lila palette. I did like the look I created with this. Again, just, it's the color story. It really is. At number nine, the mini bronze. Again, color story. I just don't think I look good in, in bronzy colors, to be honest with you. At number eight, the mini star. Now, I, did, I do like this palette a lot. It is one that I would pull from, to be honest, every now and then. At number seven, yeah, number seven, Mini Crush. This is my color story, it really is. I do like this palette. It's just, it's not an all-in-one palette for me because there's no inner corner. That's all, you know? At number five, the Mini Love. Love this palette. Now, this is one that I pull for when I want a pinky look, to be honest with you. Um... And it's an all-in-one palette for me because it's got a mini, or it's got a, the inner corner. At number four, the mini Zendo. I really do like this palette, and I actually pull for it quite a bit. Um, but I, I like the bigger one too, the mini Zendo, or the midi palettes that she has. The Zendo, I really liked it. At number four. The, the, these next ones are so hard the top four mini biba they could be switched either way around to be honest with you it's an all-in-one palette for me it's a quick easy look it's neutral i mean you can't really go wrong with it you know what i mean at number three the mini nude i know this is a lot of people's favorites and it is one of mine and you can see that i've definitely have used this one quite a bit um so I mean, like I said, these could all be interchanged. 
at number two, the Mini Glam. Again, same thing as the Beba. It's a quick, easy palette. It's an all-in-one for me. And it's just a neutral, everyday palette. But the number one is the Mini Retro. The, I just love this palette. I mean, you can create an everyday look, but yet you can get multiple looks from this. Now, it doesn't have an inner corner for me. That's the only thing. But I don't care to pull for a highlighter if I'm going to use this palette for a look. I just truly, I love this palette. I do. So that is my ranking of the 15 mini palettes that I have by Natasha Denona. I hope you liked this video. It was so hard to rank these from like probably number five and up. It was just hard to rank because on whatever day it could be, it could be interchanged. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you're notified when I do upload. I upload every day but Sunday. And let me know what brand I should do next. I don't know where to go. I've done all the Pat McGrath palettes that I have. I've done all the Natasha Denona palettes that I have. So I don't know what brand to go for next. Let me know if what brand you think I should do. And I that's all I got for you. I hope you did enjoy this video though. But until the next one, take care, stay safe, and stay healthy. Bye.